you know, I often say to people, I said to a really dear friend last week, or a few weeks ago, you know, please feel free to call me when you have these dilemmas. He, he said to me, you know, I don't like to bother you, and I feel like I know the answer, he said to me, because how many answers are there? The answer is always the answer. And it is true, though I still encouraged him to call, because it's nice to speak about these things. If we knew the answer, we wouldn't be. If we really knew it, not just intellectually, the dilemma wouldn't be there. So it's always nice to sp seek spiritual co company, counseling, guidance, wh whatever you want to call it in the moment. But this question that's being asked right now, um, which elicits in me deep compassion, because again, it's very hard in life to say, how do I let go of worry? How do I let go of fear of loss? How do I let go when I actually think I'm in charge and, oh my God, did I make the right decision? And the answer is just the same. It's honestly the same answer. It's about prayer and remembering and maybe sitting down with spiritual friends once a week and saying, remind me, remind me, remind me. Whatever happens, I'm a child of God. I'm in his hands. It's going to be okay. Nothing ever in this world or in this life ever can happen to us that isn't an opportunity for our spiritual growth. Nothing, if we see it that way. And that is an amazing truth that is very calming. And when I'm mentioning that, I mean, I don't keep it a secret, this has been a very challenging what, some period of time for me. Um, the last three years have been challenging, but this last six months, really challenging. And every morning and every night, I start or end my meditation saying right out loud to the masters, I know for certain that whatever is in my life is grist for my spiritual mill that if I see it in the right way, approach it in the right way, open to it, welcoming it, um, not getting lost in it, but welcoming it, I have an opportunity to grow enormously. And the fact that it's so hard, I say to myself, Shanti, this could be it. If you face this with all of the courage, all of the, uh, Right attitude says a lot of it. I could use all of those. I could keep going with all of the words that we know. What if, because it's so challenging, no matter what you think of yourself and how you see yourself, all of the imperfections and thinking, God, how many more lifetimes do I have? What if this is an opportunity to transcend all of that and be free? It's possible. It's absolutely possible. We are those souls who have come a very long way. So you face into that fear as if it's a gift from God, because it is. <laughs> it is. That's the truth. But the mind, again, wants to say, mm, come on out here. Come on. You worry it a little bit. You know, I strongly suggest for any of you who did not join in on the Secrets of Emotional Healing class that we just ended, that class turned out to be something that I never expected. And I, I again, was the speaker. I mean, there was music and meditation, and it was beautiful, but it's Swamiji's book, Secrets of Emotional Healing. Worry was one of them. Fear was one of them. I mean, anxiety was one of them. Anything we're talking about today was one of them. Please go online and subscribe to that class. It's $108 for a year's worth of talks. It's, it's an, an extraordinary way to invest that money. And if you can't, if you can't afford it, and I mean that, just 
write to Sai Ganesh or Lakshmi or myself, and we will get you the class. Because Swamiji showed up so often to speak in that class. There was so much wisdom about each of these emotions because that's what they are and that's what the spiritual path is. It's turning all of that emotion into devotion that we then send or it will shoot up to the spiritual eye. And in each instance, with each emotion, it wasn't just those words, that's the truth, that's the bottom line. Different ideas came, different stories, different thoughts. I would say that 95% of those classes were Swamiji's class. Um, the other ones were good, but I was in the way. That's what happens. It's, it's really worth it to listen to that series of classes. Very practical, um, practical advice or lesson being held up by the highest spiritual threats. So I hope at least there's some inspiration in that as an answer uh, to your question. <laughs>